Hey there, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a halftone transition on Premiere Pro and because this is an advanced tutorial, you're going to need the Sapphire plugin installed. First of all, make an adjustment layer, place it on top of your clip. I'm going to start with the first one, of course, and the first effect you want to add onto the adjustment layer is S Shake. Now head into Effect Controls and just copy my settings. So for the amplitude, you want to keyframe that to 5 at the start and change the frequency to 15. Don't keyframe the rest, just the amplitude. And you want to turn on the motion blur, set the motion blur length to 0.75. And then scroll down, open up the X shake and change this to 125 for the round amp. Open up the Y shake, change this to 100 and 50 scroll down even further and open up the tilt shake change the round amp to one now scroll back up and what we're going to do is head towards the middle of our clip my adjustment layer is about 15 frames long so i think eight frames ahead would do somewhere around here i'm going to set the amplitude to zero open up the graph by clicking on the arrow and just graph it to the left so i'm just going to pull this handle over there like so and i am going to make some extra adjustments so what i'm going to do is right click the first keyframe select bezier just going to push it forward so it's easy to work with pull the handle down so it creates a nice curve just going to fix this one up as well on the other side and pull it back actually let me just pull it back a little bit more like that there you go it should look like this now head to the end of your adjustment layer just one back and you want to set the amplitude to one i know it's a little bit tricky to graph this so you want to just try and figure this out so i'm just going to pull it down so that it's leveled like that and then just bring this one closer to the other side if it helps you can use the top graph to help you so um, that's what i like to do so i'm just going to grab it it's a little bit tricky as long as it looks like this you should be okay so it deaccelerates and then accelerates towards the end now what you want to do is add on s shake one more time so s shake again if it helps collapse the first s shake we added and for this what you want to do is change the amp to 0 0.15 and then the frequency to 5 scroll all the way down to the tilt shake and change the tilt round amp to 5 Next, you want to add on Sapphire Flicker, so add that onto Adjustment Layer. And all you need to do is just change the RAND frequency down from 30 to 20. Just collapse that one as well. So far, it looks like this, which is pretty awesome. Now we're going to add the half tone. So what you want to do is add an Adjustment Layer on top of your already existing Adjustment Layer. Extend it. Search for Sapphire Half Tone, this one underneath Sapphire Stylize. Add it on to the empty Adjustment Layer. And what you want to do is change the dots frequency to about 75 and what we need to do is make it fade out we could just you know do that but that's not going to work that's going to fade out everything we just want the dots the half tone to fade out so instead what you want to do is keyframe the opacity at the beginning for the adjustment layer itself and then head towards the middle or even like six frames ahead i'm going to do five six frames ahead and cut this down to zero and we're going to graph it so just copy me i'm going to highlight all of these keyframes right click bezier and i'm going to pull this graph back this one forwards as well something like this should be okay just experiment with different graphs to see what's best so far mine looks like this and i think it's pretty cool so yeah that's how you make the shake i'm going to finish it off by adding a zoom in i'm just going to use my presets let's go for a fast zoom in so i'm going to add that to the first adjustment layer and i'm going to make some changes really quick so i'm just going to extend it because the adjustment layer is too short so i'm just going to open it up and just put it back to around here there you go and just cut it down so let's play it back and oh it's actually a zoom out i added the wrong one but i think it still looks really awesome so i'm going to highlight both of these adjustment layers hold alt on your keyboard and just click and drag it to duplicate there you go let's play it back looks pretty cool now let me just try with zoom ins which is this one at the top i accidentally added the zoom out so i'm going to add on zoom in fast and head into effect controls extend my adjustment layer open up the effect and just pull this keyframe back then cut it back down let's see if it looks okay yep looks perfect so i'm just going to duplicate these and there you go this is my results which is slightly different to my first attempt you can see the shake looks a little bit slower here i think the shake graph is a little bit different for this one so if you remember you get the project file for free as always in addition i will leave the presets as well separately just so it makes it easier thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace